throughout the last several weeks, I've really been spending a lot of time preparing myself physically and spiritually. Um, and I want to take this moment to talk about the physical part of it because spiritually we're going through the book of Joshua verse by verse. And I have another episode coming out uh, later this week. But this one, I want to kind of focus on the physical aspect of it because what I'm doing is I'm preparing for a spiritual war to be ready for a physical war, a time of trouble. Um, at the very least, as I grow older, I want to be able to defend myself and my family and my neighbors and my loved ones, uh, whether I be 50, 60, 70, 100, 1,000 years old. And in order to be prepared for a time of trouble or three and a half years of tribulation, there's no way I'm physically ready for anything like that. And that's why um, it's both spiritual and physical because physically what I've been doing is I started getting out. I, I, when I was in Oregon, I climbed a mountain every day and went through the book of Jude verse by verse. Check out that series. And boy, I really pushed myself. And through that process, I ended up pulling my ACL. But along with that, what I've been doing is I've been getting the gym. I just left the gym, and that's kind of why I wanted to film this. And taking this time to kind of really reflect on this idea that, you know, it's raining worms in China. There's earthquakes in various places. There's wars and rumors of wars. There's famine. There's comets, brightly lit green and white comets that, you know, the one coming now has never been seen by the earth. And we're all just staring at this stuff as if this is just normal stuff. And it's not normal stuff. Um, it's literally exactly what Jesus talked about in Matthew 24. And the problem that a lot of people are having is they're blind to it. They don't believe that prophecy is real. So, you know, it's important that we train. It's important that we prepare for a time of tribulation because I guarantee we're not going to get through tribulation sitting on our couches. I know that. And in the air conditioning and uh, watching Netflix. We're going to get through it by surviving the war of the saints in the wilderness. And the only way you're gonna do that physically is you have to be prepared. So I'm working out. I'm also, something that's really helped me a lot. A friend of mine lost 110 pounds in seven months eating the hottest peppers in the world. And he's created a drink uh, called ES Power Drink. ES stands for every Sunday. So every Sunday I've been popping one of these open. And it, I like the flavor of them. I've been down in them, but I started kind of just sipping them throughout the week. Cause it's whenever you get that bite and it's got kind of that tingle to it that your body just kicks in that immune system and uh, really just all your systems are going into overdrive in that moment. Um, now he's a friend of mine, he just made it. He, he's the inventor of it, uh, but he is doing, he's trying to sell it as a product. That's why it's got a name now. And he's uh, selling uh, pre-orders. So if you want in on that, I'm gonna put that link below. But in it, in addition to that, I'm also, which is the most important part, is I'm uh, joining a uh, jiu-jitsu class that's focused on real self-defense uh, with knives, guns, jiu-jitsu, a lot of street fighting. And uh, then uh, this guy also is on the SWAT team for Jackson County, Missouri, and he's uh, also doing airsoft training and airsoft courses for the police. Um, so I'm getting in on all of that. Um, now, what I'll say is I did observe the class last night and it looks like my knees are going to hurt a lot. So I'm going to try to work my knee out before I dive in quite a bit because uh, I'm going out of town for seven days and I told them I'm going to hit it running when I get back. Uh, so while I'm out of town, I'm going to try to work my knee it's like it's going to hurt my neck and back a lot. <laughs> I'm over 50 and I've never done any of that stuff. So um, anyhow, that's kind of what I'm going through. It's it's really going to be a, an amazing journey. I believe it'll take, you know, probably three-ish years, maybe two, two to four years for sure to get through the book of Joshua. 
And throughout that time, doing all these things, um, continuing to drink the ES Power Drink, continuing to go to jujitsu, continuing to train with my handgun and my rifle and shotgun, continuing uh, to get to the gym, continuing to get out in the elements and climb mountains and spend time in the wilderness uh, while we're going through it. And I wanna encourage you all to do the same. I mean, it's raining worms. Uh, they've, they're prepared the heifers for the sacrifice. They're ready to build the temple. There's wars and rumors of wars. There's earthquakes in various places. There's pestilence and famine. And these are all the beginning of sorrows. That's the thing. It's, it's time to prepare now, physically. Not just stock up on food and penicillin and stuff, uh, which I recommend that too, but physically prepare for a time of trouble to sustain for three and a half years. And that's what this is about. So continue to join me. Uh, that episode with Joshua is coming out here the next day. Um, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.